was clicking around yesterday on the Xbox Gear Shop website. I like to look from time to time. Sometimes they release really cool exclusive t-shirts or hats or just, I don't know, things for the house. Statues, figurines, or whatever. And I stumbled across this uh, Halo Infinite Spartan Cron Mage Yokai statue. And I was like, oh, I like Halo. So, you know, I looked into it. It's actually a really cool statue. Unfortunately, if you try to get any more information about it by Googling it, <laughs> or by looking up what other people are thinking about it on social media like Twitter or Reddit, you'll see that a lot of people are panning this statue because it brings them bad memories of uh, game events in the past on Halo Infinite and just continues to show the general disdain for Halo Infinite and how it's bleeding out into the television show and into some of the collectibles. And it's really unfortunate because this is actually a really awesome design and it's a really cool statue. And it's a limited edition, which to me just makes it a little more exciting. The product details read as follows. From the Halo Infinite multiplayer Fracture Tenrai event comes a legendary Spartan Cron Mage with the optional Yokai helmet. The Cron Mage, a symbol of the Samurai commanders and their ability to harmonize with fellow warriors and the Yokai. Those lost samurai who pursued unobtainable perfection and instead devolved into creatures driven only by war. Now, both glorious options can be yours with the Halo Infinite Spartan Cron Mage PVC statue, not only including interchangeable helmets, but weapons as well. With the Red Energy Sword and the Disruptor, standing over just 10 inches tall, this intricately painted uh, uh, in the expressed soul coating. The Spartan will be prized in any collection. It's limited to 2,500 units, stands about 10 inches tall, made with poly resin. It includes interchangeable helmets and interchangeable weapons. So let's take some looks. At, let's take some looks. <laughs> let's take a look at some of these pictures and see if it's something that's actually really cool. And I gotta say that I have always thought the marriage of a samurai and space was really cool and it was a genre that has never really been explored entirely um when the halo master chief collection released their final season which they included a lot of legacy type weapons you had like roman helmets and greek helmets and other you know deities i'll say uh they're kind of legends they called it mythic was the name of the season but they had some stuff that dealt with dragons and fantasy and medieval and and a little bit, just a little bit of samurai and so, so cool. So I love this armor set in the game, by the way. I know the fractured Tenrai event definitely did not really uh, come off well. And I suspect the disdain for that event as long as well as just the general uh, anger towards Halo Infinite is leading into this. But it's a really, really cool statue. It really pops because, again, the base doesn't say Halo Infinite on it anywhere. My only complaint is that I wish the figure was doing something instead of just kind of standing there. Um, any action pose would have been great. I think back to the Halo loot crate that came out around Halo 5 Guardians. Um, all those figurines, and I, I got the entire crate until basically Loot Crate went out of business. Um, all of those figurines, not all of them, many of them had really cool positioning and action poses, like using their thrusters or uh, getting ready to hit an a weapon, uh, hit, an, hit an enemy with like a, a powerful weapon or dealing with like some sort of damage or explosion or shock or awe or something on their face. This guy's just kind of standing here. Um, now, I do like the optional, the, the two helmet swaps you can get. I think there's a clear choice in the helmet. I'll let you determine what that means to you. As well as the two weapons being able to toggle between a disruptor and a red energy sword. I think the red energy sword definitely makes the most logical sense, considering this is a character who is kind of well-versed in midi uh not medieval um you know ancient uh weaponry right so you're thinking like samurai swords and like ninja stars and that sort of thing 
This makes sense because the energy sword, definitely a very sleek weapon. Think of somebody running you down and slashing you. You can even see the optional, although it's not uh, available for use in the game, uh, the optional uh, dagger on their waistband. Uh, that's really cool as well. Uh, so they've got the detail down uh, pretty well. Even you get a lot better look at kind of the back of the Spartan. Uh, you can see where they have these like reactor cooling things for their, their body. Uh, you could see the plate mail that kind of drapes down um, around their waist, kind of covering their upper thigh area. And a lot of intricate detail has gone into the calves and into the armor. Uh, even the shoes with the really cool pointed look with the kind of uh, golded out toe. You can even see some of the gold kind of uh, detailing as well around the arms and the shoulder pads as well. Um, very, very, very cool statue. I, I like it a lot. Um, I think it really pops and it looks like there's been incredible attention to detail. The question will always be, you know, is it painted as well as you think it is? And um, is it is it is detailed as well when you get it? You know, a lot of times you get these statues that just kind of come out of the production line. The painting isn't as crisp or clear. You have a lot of overspray. So you may have, instead of this nice fine gold detail here, a little gold may like trickle into other parts of the statue. It definitely has a weathered look to it on the armor. Some of the armor, you can see some of the bleeding through of, I'm gonna guess the green paint that kind of covered it and then they went back and col colored it again with other things. Now, it is true to the Spartans character that there would be some sort, oh, actually, I guess probably a little better way to show pictures this way. Um, it would make sense that there's a little bit of damage there, um, particularly on just kind of the, the weathered look. So I think that's kind of a true to form, but also does indicate to me that the painting may not be perfect. Uh, the other oddity of this statue is the disruptor, which is definitely not a fan favorite weapon by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I don't know why they would give you the disruptor as opposed to a sidekick or potentially an energy hammer or even just the standard AR. Definitely, uh, the disruptor just doesn't really seem like it makes a lot of sense in terms of what a yokai um, ninja warrior samurai would be running around with. I just don't see a disruptor being being their weapon of choice. Um, I like the, uh, the changes though in the figurine. They're showing you all the little attachments you get, basically the energy sword hand or the disruptor hand, and then you have the two various helmets. Um, and they're standing next to some dude, <laughs> which dude for scale. Good job, Microsoft. That's a really great photo there. Um, <laughs> but if you're interested, there is a link to pre-order. As I mentioned, they are uh, running $100 US. They are limited to 2,500 units based on the fact that this has been out for a day or so and I'm a little late to getting around to doing this video and probably even a little later getting around to uploading it. I don't think there's going to be a rush. And based on the uh, disdain for Halo Infinite as a whole, I kind of feel like this may not sell as well. I don't know if there'll be a price drop, but I like that they're doing this. Where I would like to see this go next is I would love to see more of these types of statues and I'd like to see a return back to, in Halo 5, you could get a 3D printout of your Spartan. I would love to see somehow that make its way into this type of figure. I think that would be a big, big draw. Put your name plate down here on the bottom with your Spartan number. That would definitely be something worth investing in. But understand, you know, making things in bulk and that sort of thing. Just a wish list. Just trying to build up some hype for one of my favorite games, despite the fact that I'm one of the last uh, who enjoys it. <laughs> but I still play it quite a bit. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to post a link to all this in the description below. I'll also post a link to the Xbox Gear Shop. If you want to go check any of that out and congratulations you made it to the end of the video now reward yourself by hitting the subscribe button thank you all so much for watching take care of yourselves and until next time i will see you guys on the other side